Okay, let's talk about wasps. I'm personally not a fan of them. They don't serve a purpose in my life. I don't ever really find any interaction with them pleasant. But I'm sure there, I mean, there's like probably some like food chain shit that they're a part of. They're probably great. And they're probably just like, yeah, I'm part of nature. Uh. But I think they're really kind of annoying and get in my way. But imagine life from their point of view. On average, they live about two to three weeks. So that's like the wasp's entire life. It's their childhood, puberty, young adult life, adult life, retirement, all in two to three weeks. I I would have a mental breakdown. But in those two to three weeks, they also have like the most insane lives. Like compared to human lives, the wasp lives are just, just great, insane, wonderful things. They've got this like awesome sword, weapon, powerful butt thing that they've got. But like they can't use it against other wasps, I don't think. So, I mean, they probably can, but like, I just don't think like they do or like the dynamics wouldn't work out. Like if one wasp is flying butt first towards another wasp, I would imagine the butt first wasp would fly slower than the head first wasp. So I just don't think that would necessarily work out like logistically. Um. Yeah, but if like because of that dynamic, like if one wasp, let's let's call him Greg, pisses off another wasp, let's mm, Greg two, Greg two. So if like Greg pisses off Greg two, then Greg two can't use his like butt weapon against Greg, and like I don't want to deal with Greg shit. So you don't want to deal with Greg shit. So like. Greg too shouldn't deal with Greg shit. No one should. But like, he can't do anything about it. He's just gotta sit there and deal with Greg shit. He can fly away, but then Greg will just follow him, and it's it's just it's annoying. And then another annoying thing is fucking bumblebees. I'm personally not saying they're terrible. I love them. I fucking love honey. But from a wasp point of view, they stole their whole look. You know, they both wear like their, their nice suit, like black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. They're going for it, right? They're going out to dinner with all their, you know, a little other flying insect friends. And then they just show up and they're wearing the same fucking thing. I'd be pissed. Maybe not as pissed as I'd be at fucking Greg, but I'd be pissed. You know, it's just, it's, it's, but you can't do anything about it because you're sitting here being Greg fucking too. And then like the bees sitting there being, you know, just stealing your fucking look. And then you're like, mm, I can't do anything. Cause again, if a wasp and a bee are flying, but the wasp has to fly butt first in order to sting it, the bee will just fly faster away. I don't know the airspeed of wasps and bees, but I would assume it'd be like slightly close, but like they're able to fly, which is awesome, but not when they're wet. Like, and, and like, there's, there's a lot of water in this world. There's, there's a bunch of water, but like, and when it rains, it'd be crazy. Like they see these giant droplets of water falling from the sky, right? You've got these like super massive droplets of water, like almost as big as your fucking body. Like you're just going down and you're trying not to get hit with these liquid meteorites falling to earth. And you're just like trying to dodge that shit and make it out alive. That's insane. Like if I did that, like I I think I'd be a mate. I'd be a G. I'd be insane. Like if you did that on like a daily basis, anytime it rains, especially in like moderate climates. Oh my god, that'd be insane. Like, damn. And like some other shit they deal with is like us giant monsters we're just like these giant like look how imagine how small a wasp is compared to us or imagine how big we are compared to wasps they look at that and they're like oh shit and then we start trying to fucking whack them with shit and like try to like do it like those wasps that escape like you know sometimes we yeah. we kind of end them but like the wasps that escape like they must go home and tell their buddies like yo this big fucking thing like that's insane if i did that I'd be a G like again, like if I went outside and it was raining and I survived that and then I run into this like, you know, 200 story tall, you know, thing that just like starts whacking shit at me and I'm able to escape that. 
That's insane. That's just... Blows my fucking mind. It's just like, it's insane. But like, he probably would get home. You know, the wash, let's let Greg 2 gets home, right? And then he gets to, he has to deal with fucking Greg. But he can't do shit about it. Because Greg's a fucking dick. That must get frustrating, dude. So, like, next time you kind of, like, kill a wasp or you're, you're trying to get it away and you're just like, no, don't bother me, Greg, too. You're nice. I don't want to, you know, I just don't want to deal with that today, you know? I had, like, a midterm or something or, like, you know, my boss is getting on my ass. Just, just like, chill. Greg, too's trying to do stuff. Like, he, he's got his own problems. Like, or, like, if you're trying to fight him, put on some, like, Beethoven's Fifth or, like, duh, 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 duh. Dun, 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 dun. And just like kind of like go go at it because like that wasp is fighting for his life he's trying hard he's trying real hard take that into consideration he's living a crazy life but you know what's even crazier so wasps like bees those you know like the people who dress just like wasps <laughs> Let's not get back into that. So wasps, like bees, have queens. And queens live about 12 months, right? That's like their average queen wasp life. Which is which is some crazy shit. Because like like I said, like the the work the worker wasps, they live like freaking um like two to three weeks, right? They live like two to three weeks. So they're like they're fucking having sex with this queen like this immortal being that just like their their fathers and fathers and fathers and fathers behind before them all had sex with the queen now don't like let's not think too deep into that because it is another species but like they just had so like this immortal being that just like continues their bloodline in generations to come is just just having sex with them because like imagine that like imagine if i were just like kind of chilling and then like this person who has like a, just a bunch of more life ahead of them and behind them just like came and lived and like didn't age while I was alive. It's it that gets overwhelming like emotionally. Um, so that's what wasps have to deal with like on the daily basis. Um, so like that happens and that's insane. Like, if we did that, that'd be insane. We would, like, and we all, like, worship this one queen, and we all, like, dude, that's, like, that's a cult. But at the same time, when the queen dies, because, you know, we all know the queen dies. It's, it's only a year. The queen will die. All these wasps must be freaking out. Like, oh, my God. The queen's dead. But I thought she was lived forever. Like, she was there since my father's 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 father. Like, no one remembers the queen being born. We all just assume she was. And now she's dead. What do we do now? And then another queen pops out of fucking nowhere. It's like, hey, boys. And we're just like, what the fuck? Some crazy shit. Don't get me wrong. I, I genuinely think wasps pricks. I don't like them. But if they're pricks to us, it's because they can't prick each other. <laughs> 